so this algae here guys basically you can just pick it up with your hand it's like a jelly type substance chuck it to one side and it'll dry out and die Well, this is um, the old Dumbyong Hospital here. Right there is probably one of the original buildings from about 19, post 1910. And I'm just going for a walk, just about to show you this beautiful black boy tree here in flower. And look at this. They've been naughty, guys. I don't know. They've been throwing away all their food waste in this beautiful patch of native bush. Look, there's two bobtails here. What's eating all this uh, native... Um, Sorry, all the f hospital food waste. Extremely bad for the environment, guys. Whoever's doing this in the local hospital is very, very naughty. The reason being, guys, this is a beautiful piece of natural bushland. Basically, it's untouched. And people here are throwing away their disgusting food scraps and so forth. And what happens is all these foods... Um, even though those bobtails are having a good feed, all these food uh, scraps can cause disease in this environment, very fragile environment. And also, obviously, weeds will start growing. I'll show you another area, what I found uh, last year, or at the beginning of this year, guys, where someone illegally dumped some rubbish. And, uh, yeah, we'll be interested to see if any weeds are actually growing out of that household rubbish. But yeah, I mean, even though these beautiful bobtails are having a feed of all these fruit, this is really, really bad for the environment, guys. So whoever's doing it in the hospital is either being lazy or maybe deliberately feeding animals like rabbits and some bobtails and so forth. Like here is a piece of broccoli down there. Very, very bad for the environment, guys. Especially, like I say, this beautiful, fragile ecosystem here. In Dumbayong, I'm just about to do a huge video on it about all the wildflowers, so stay tuned for that one, guys. It's a beautiful piece of land. So, see here, fellas, people dumping their charcoal in the bush, extremely illegal. Look at this, guys. Well, that's all sheep manure someone's dumped a bag of sheep manure and leaf mulch, probably from the owner of that house over there, a shy worker. Typical shire worker dumping rubbish out in the bush. Well, this is a species of uh, succulent. Uh, beautiful, similar to the, um, the pig's face, what I've done videos on. Completely different type of, you know, obviously plant, but it's the same type of species. A beautiful succulent. I've just ripped a heap off, guys, so I can plant them in my garden. So they're really easy to grow. Basically, just replant them. Uh, yeah, so that's a beautiful succulent. Also a bush tucker. Right here, guys, is a, um, what did I see, is just here, fellas, is another type of bush tucker. There's no fruit on it. This is called like a, a bush tomato plant. Usually little tiny red type cherries grow on this, but it's the wrong season. So this is a, called a bush tomato plant. And right here, guys, look at this. This is one of the most dangerous weeds in West Australia, the bridal creeper. So I'm going to pull it out, guys. Extremely, of course, it's extremely catastrophic um, harm to the environment. I actually did pull that out just before, guys, but anyway, I'll pull it out again. So, yeah, this is called the Bridal Creeper, guys. Done heaps of videos on this. Extremely, extremely dangerous weed. Destroys every single bit of bushland around my area and all of southern West Australia. So, check out the videos. And also, right here, guys, like walking along old, um, the road. Uh, old bottle here, but it's not that old. But yeah, always keep an eye on bottles and look at this, guys, right down there. I only just found this out the other day, too. Uh, look at a species of fungi or cocoon growing right there. I think it's a, possibly a species of fungi in this hollow tree here. Just got to be careful of snakes, guys, but... Yep, that's definitely a piece, a species of fungi growing in the tree there, in the hollow. 
Thanks guys, see ya. Just walking guys, just keeping an eye on snakes. And look at this. Possibly remains of an old rubbish dump or maybe even remains of an old original Pioneers home site or something like that. It's the first time I've stumbled across this guys, so can't see any bottles. I'm not too worried, we can always come back another time. Just here guys, this is where another echidna's been looking for termites. This is totally taking that tree apart. Similar to what a beaver does to a tree, but obviously for not the same reasons.